Hey everyone, uh, today we're going to be putting together a Tudor uniforms kit. Uh, this one is going to be for a sprinter figure and we are going to do the Dallas Cowboys uh, in their dark uniforms. So first thing we need to do is locate <clears throat> the first film we're going to apply, which is this one, the back of the pants. So we'll get it off the film here, or we'll get it off the backing here. And then we also want to find what are called mold lines uh, that run down the leg of the figure here. You can see them very slightly right there. And these are gonna be the guides that we'll use to put on our first uniform film. All right, so we're gonna take this leg stripe here on the film and we're going to match it to that mold line that runs down the outside of the figure's legs. So we're just going to adjust it a little bit until we get it right where we want it. And we also want to make sure that the top of the film lines up with this belt line as well. So this one, this right here looks pretty good. There we go. And once we've got it in the right spot, we'll take our flattening tool and we'll just gently press down against the plastic of the figure and that should stick it in place. So once we've got it there, we want to turn the figure around and we're going to tuck this other uh, corner all the way around to the other side of the belt line. Just like this. <clears throat> and then we'll take the bottom part of this pant leg and again match it to that mold line that you'll find on the outside of the figure's legs. And again we want to use our flattening tool to flatten that stripe out so that it doesn't move anywhere. And then we can move on to the back of the legs here. So we just want to make sure that these pieces aren't stuck to uh, the bottom part of the leg here. And then we'll just gently roll them over, trying our best to avoid any big wrinkles. And it's just going to go all the way through to the inner part of the leg here. And we just want to flatten that out too. All right, and then we'll work on the other side of the leg. Want to make sure this central flap is out of the way as well. And All right, that looks good. Make sure to flatten them here. And then all we need to do now is take this central flap here and pull it down. Perfect. And then we've got our uh, back of the pants finished. So we've got our first film done. Flatten it out with your finger if you'd like. All right. And then we can move on to the second film. Which is going to be the right front part of the pants. <clears throat> so you can always find the uh, NFL shield on the fr on the right front part of the pants um, if we're putting together an NFL uniform. So we'll take that one out. And we'll find the right leg and we'll be able to match these two pieces together along that mold line, just kind of like a puzzle piece. There we go. And again, we want to make sure to smooth it down once we've got it in the right spot. And then we 
can take our tweezers and pull it towards the center between those legs. And then we can use our finger as well to smooth it out. Excellent. All right, and then all we need to do here is smooth out this part. And good. Now you don't have to worry too much about uh, the bottom of the pants here because uh, this will get covered up with the sock when we uh, put that film on. So once we've got the right, we'll switch over and do the left front of the pants. <clears throat> and this one's going to be very similar to the right, just a different shape. but we'll match it to the mold line on the other side. There we go. And we'll flatten it out. All right. And then again, we want to take our Weezers and pull towards the center and around towards the, the uh, inner leg here. That looks pretty good. And then we'll go ahead and smooth again. And then we'll push this down with our finger. And we can iron out some of these little wrinkles here. And you don't really have to worry about the waistline up here either, um, because that's going to get covered by the jersey when we put that on. All right. So there we go, we've got the pants finished. And now we'll move on to the socks. So we'll start with the left sock. Now remember the left side is going to be the one without the NFL shield, so it'll be this side. And we want to start on the back of the figure here. And we've got a small highlight on this on this film here that will show us where to put uh, the leg. So we're just gonna smooth this down a little bit. And we'll start with the one in the middle and pull it across and to the front. And then same with the one on the other side, you'll pull it across and Smooth it down in the front. We can also use our fingers to really press it in there. And we've got one sock. And we'll move on to the right. Again, very similar. We'll start on the back. Line up that highlight with the figure's leg. Smooth it down. and then pull the flaps around to the front. All right, looking good. So now we'll move on to the jersey. And we'll start with the back. 
So it's gonna be this big film here. And for this one, we're gonna turn the figure uh, towards the back and we're gonna line up its neckline with this little indentation. There we go. Now we wanna make sure that it stays right at the base of the neck, just like that, so that there's enough room here to cover up the belt line a little bit there at the bottom. So once we've got it in the right spot, we can use our finger to sort of smooth the back out and attach it. And then we'll take our tool and smooth out these sides as well. All right. Once we've got the back there, maybe a little bit more smoothing right here. There we go. We'll flip it over and we're gonna pull over these shoulder uh, these shoulder straps here. So one goes there and we want to gently attach it and then we'll pull the second one over. Now it's important here um, sometimes they'll be flashing or little extra pieces of uh, plastic um, that results from the molding process. You want to make sure to get that off. Usually it'll come here on these shoulders or some, some maybe will be on the top of the head here. You want to trim that off as best you can before you put these uniforms on uh, so that the films will go on nice and smooth. So we'll pull it down and attach it. All right, and now we want to leave these two uh, sh these uh, two side shoulder flaps here uh, with our um, with our star with our cowboy star here and the shoulder stripes. Uh, we'll leave those unattached until we finish the next film. Uh, so that will be <clears throat> the front of the jersey. All right, so we'll pull that off. And here we're just gonna kind of line it up right underneath its chin there. That looks pretty good there. And then once you've got it in the spot that you kind of like, just take your, your thumb and press down. <clears throat> and that'll do a good job attaching the front of the uniform there. And then we'll take our tool and smooth out these sides as well underneath the arm. There we go. And then we, once we've got that front on, we can go ahead and attach our side, so, uh, our side shoulder stripes here. Uh, so those will just go kind of right around and attach in the front here, right underneath the arm. And same for the other side. pretty good. Now sometimes you might get some extra plastic up here on the shoulders. You can usually press it down, flatten it out. This looks pretty good though. <clears throat> All right, so we're almost done. We need to move on to the last two films, which will make up the helmet. Uh, so first we want to do the helmet sides. So we'll take this helmet film here and line up the central 
helmet stripe right in the middle of the face, right above the nose. <clears throat> and then we want to take these two corner pieces here, at the very edge of the, the uh, helmet, and pull them around and try to attach them right here to the back, just like that. Do that to the other side as well. All right, and there we have it. So then we want to go ahead and take our tool. We'll smooth down these uh, side parts of the helmet here to the face. And then we'll do a little bit of smoothing on the top. Just a little bit. And then once we've got it sort of in the right spot, we've got a little bit of it attached down, we're just gonna take our fingers and run them from the front to the back of the helmet. Over and over again a few times. And that should do a good job to smooth out some of those little wrinkles. There we go, looks good. Maybe take our tool here and smooth out a bit more. Now this will get covered up as well, so we don't have to worry too much about it. But we want to make sure that it's nice and flattened out, so it's covering all the spots that we need it to. All right, and then we're on to the top of the helmet. <clears throat> so we'll take off, here it is, the film. And we're gonna grab it by the top here. <clears throat> and we'll press this film back into the back of the neck here. There we go. We want to take our smoothing tool and smooth out this bottom part here. Make sure it's nicely attached. And then we'll turn it to the front and pull down so that we can match this helmet stripe. Just like that. And we'll take our finger and smooth from the back to the front this time. Just like that. Now if you're getting a lot of wrinkles on your helmets, you can always try to heat it up with a blow dryer and that should take some of the wrinkles out. You can press down and that'll uh, help iron some of those out. So you get a nice smooth helmet. All right, and so finally we'll finish off our figure. Uh, we'll make a little we'll make a little Dak Prescott here. So we'll put a number four. Uh, we got to pull out some of our other sheets here. The numbers are spread out all over. Uh, so we'll take the bigger of the two sets of numbers, and we'll grab a number four here. Place it right smack dab in the middle of the back of his jersey. Just like that. We can use our finger or our flattening tool to stick it down. <clears throat> oh, looks like we got a little more flattening to do here. There we go. That's better. And then we'll move on to the front. So that's going to be these smaller sets of numbers here compared to these which are for the back. So we'll grab a number four and we'll center this one right underneath the 
Cowboys text there on the front of the jersey. Press it down with your finger. <clears throat> All right, almost done. Finally, for the finishing touch, we'll put on some little teeny TV numbers on the shoulders. Um, so again, we'll find our number fours here and we'll have one little number for each shoulder. So here's the first. And we'll stick it right on top. Looking good. And then we'll go on to the last film. All right, we'll put it right, right across on the other shoulder. Press down with our finger. And there we go. We got ourselves a little miniature electric football figure fully outfitted with a Dallas Cowboys home uniform. Thanks for watching.